Hello, my name is Shane Kirksey, and I'm an application engineer with Votron. Today I want to show you our variable frame rate and resolution mode in our latest software called Votron FastCam Viewer 4 or PFV4. Here you see a color and resolution chart, and I'm using a Photron SA4 camera set to 1000 frames per second and a resolution of 1024 by 1024. It's very easy to see that on the right hand of the screen, you have drop down menus for adjusting your frame rate and your resolution. But what if you needed to set a resolution or frame rate that is not found on these lists? The solution is to use our variable mode, and that can be found here. First, select the variable drop down and go to settings. Now you have two options, frame rate priority or resolution priority. Really, your application will determine which of these you choose. For example, if you know that for your test, you need to record at 10,000 frames per second, but you need a unique resolution, you would choose frame rate and set it to 10,000 frames per second. Now, to set your resolution, you can choose preset which gives you this pre-made list, or you can choose manual for more flexibility. You see the black and white line here on your screen, and you can adjust the width and height with these up and down arrows, or simply grab the box and drag it to where you want it. Some Photron cameras will always keep your resolution locked to the optical center of the sensor, but this camera allows you to move your desired resolution in the horizontal, but not the vertical direction. We're going to lock it to the optical center and select the center of the resolution chart. Now, when we click OK, it will assign these settings to channel one and move back into our live mode. And now we see that our camera is set to 10,000 frames per second and a resolution of 512 by 432. Let's go back into our variable settings and see the difference when choosing resolution as the priority. We start out at full resolution and have the same options of preset or manual. Let's say you have a ballistic application where the projectile is only taking up a narrow strip of your horizontal resolution. So our resolution is going to be set by the test, but we need to know how fast we can record. Let's say we set our resolution at 1024 by 240. Automatically, the software shows us how fast we can record at that resolution, and it's 16,000 frames per second. If you need to record faster, you can reduce the resolution. Let's say we want to keep the same resolution, but we only want to record at 8,000 frames per second. Now we select an unassigned channel, and when we click OK, it will save those settings and move us back to the live mode. We see that our frame rate is now 8,000 frames per second, and our resolution is 1024 by 240. One of the great things about this feature is that you can store up to 20 preset channels and easily switch between them. These channels are saved in the software, so if you have multiple people using a camera with their own PCs, they can save the presets that they need for their test and not have to worry about overriding someone else's presets. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please contact Photron if you have any questions. Thank you.